JD, a successful trip to the sunny coast, but just good to get the boys together. Yeah, it was unreal. Um, it was very important after Origin and, and international footy where your blokes in and out of the, of the team and to get us all together and, and connect. But I'm really happy with how we brought it back to the performance as well. It wasn't just about going away and having a good time. It was about the performance and, and going up a gear and I thought we did that. And it's sort of been a focus the last month or two, getting together. We've seen at the end of training, um, going to games together, the Cronulla game, you've all got the bus over there and stuff like that. Has that yeah. been a, a bit of a focus? Yeah, it has, yeah. It's, um, I'm, I'm big on that, that relationship and that uh, investment in the relationships as well inside our, our club and uh, the players are, are really buying into that. Uh, they're enjoying themselves at the moment. As this time of year, that's what you want. You want your boys coming to training with a smile on their face, but they're training with good intensity as well. You can see it when we score. The boys are coming from all over the joint, jumping on each other. But I'm um, on the weekend. It looked like a focus to go right down the middle of the field and, and open them up. And Cam Murray had his fingerprints all over that. Yeah, we, we've spoken a lot about just the ability to go play for play. And, you know, if the teams are going to open up on us, then we'll go through their middle third. And if they tighten up, then we've got the ability to go around them as well. So. Like I said, it makes us a dangerous attacking team. Um, but with that mindset of just putting them in their corners as well and waiting for opportunities. He's had a bit of a, a tough year injury-wise and in and out of the team. Poor old Cam, um, Origin and stuff. But Rabbitohs Fan TV on the breakdown the other day, oh, I'd said it's his best game of the season, Cam Murray. Especially yeah. the first half. Uh, outstanding. Yeah, without a doubt. That's the thing that probably excites me the most is seeing the rhythm that he's starting to get in his game. And he did have a disrupted uh, middle part of the season. Obviously, had the shoulder surgery and then forced pushed himself to get back for origin and then uh, obviously had, had, that's a tough period when you're not played a lot of footy and then obviously he had the head knock so he missed a lot of footy but uh, the work in our favour at the back end of the year. And Latrell just little, little small injections but when he, when he does come in aren't they classy? Oh, he's like I said before there's still more to come from him I've no doubt about that but um, we just need to get in the right field positions and he's got that x-factor about him and I think you saw his second try on the weekend if Teams want to put numbers on Cody, then um, we've got some variation to, to get the big fella the ball as well. So it's exciting looking forward. And big Isaac, good story, but he was on the end of one of uh, Latrell's classic no-look passes and, and scored a try, mate. Must have been uh, fun to be around that for the week, big Isaac. Yeah, it was. Uh, pretty proud of Isaac. Um, I'm pretty proud of our club uh, to bring a guy out of retirement for four years, pushing 140 kilos, uh, and to bring him in an organisation and over a two-year period get him to a point where in my opinion, he's a top New South Wales Cup winger, uh, top try scorer, and then to, to debut is, is exciting, but it's always has been about his career in the NRL, and I'm looking forward to seeing him go this week. And it's just sort of been about patience with blokes like Isaac. Mm -hmm. There's no need to push him in early in the year when we're a little mm -hmm. short out wide, but now he's got the games under his belt. Yeah. You might get a couple leading into the semis, and he's a great bloke to reach back on if we, if we have to. Yeah, for sure. I think that's, for me as a coach, I know there's obviously people who want people put in sooner mm -hmm. rather than later, but um, for me, it's about making sure that he's ready to handle his job and do his job. And uh, like I said, he hadn't played for four years and they're banging out 15, 16 games in cup. Um, he was ready to go and uh, just seeing the smile on his daughter's face and what it means to, to her and to his family. Um, yeah, it was, it was a special weekend. And speaking of cup, they've done a great job um, this year, the boys, the, the brothers. And last week, the boys were up training with you blokes, 26 degrees, jumped on a plane Friday, eight degrees and raining, but stuck to the task and got the job done down there? Yeah, I was in the sheds watching most of the game. I thought they were outstanding. I thought uh, Josh Mansour and uh, Richie Kenner in particular are really good for him and Shaq. Uh, they get Pete Mamo back this week as well, um, which will be good for him. It's good to see him back on the field. They've missed him. Um, but yeah, Dane and Jace have done a great job. Uh, the boys are happy when they go back there and uh, they've had to battle through with a lot of changes, which can happen in cup, but they put themselves in a position now to, to try to push themselves into that top five. And um, the Spa event a few weeks ago, um, they had you on stage, I think it was Shannon was asking you a few questions and you spoke um, about the old South Sydney when you were growing up and one of your favourite players was Les Davidson. What did you love about Bundy? Oh, I don't, yeah, it, it's, it's a weird one because it's like, you know, when you watch Les play, he wasn't like the flashiest bloke or anything, but he was just tough and a real presence on the field. Um, you know, and you know, back in the day, I didn't mind him when he used to put one on people's chin, so that was good to watch. Uh, I remember Jason Stevens at Shark Park when I was there with my brother as a teenager watching. Was, uh, but he was just, you know, he was a good player. He was a good player at every level he played at. And, um, you know, I don't think there's a person in the game that didn't enjoy watching Les play. No worries. Big game against the Eels, mate. Uh, good luck. No worries. Thanks, boys. Cheers. Thanks, okay.